So we save the images as PSD and HDR. The reason why I like to save as HDR because in the view you have an extended um, lighting. So it's more natural, you have it more shadow and highlights. Let me show you what I was meaning about. So right here the image, HDR we save. This is um, open, it's not tone map, it's, so it's all weird. We're going to click tone map. What it does, it take some highlight shadows and will compress them. Mostly I'm looking right here where is the plants. In some case you can see how it's way overdone. We'll need it a little bit readjustment, but again, we can use this to bring some of the shadows and highlights out to create a very interesting effect by combining with original PSD. So right here we have a few options and one what I'm going to do is just uh, take highlights down I'm going to adjust just play a little bit with this but overall create this tone made HDR so let's click apply this is our image and we're also going to just fix a couple things and sharpness just a little bit and I think contrast and lighting will be fine so this is actually have it a quite bit grain we don't necessarily will use this one but we use it some in the shadows so let's go ahead and save this image now we'll go in Photoshop and in Photoshop going to open as PSD original one would we save it and you can see how nice haze all these colors develop and also we're going open another file this is our map it so I'm going to copy and paste it over this image or if you want you can just uncheck take layer drag and drop on top of another one so we'll put it right here if you notice we have a two images and I'm switching you can look between right in this area you see how we have it in the shadows a little bit more information than before so again this way give it us an interesting effect but again I don't like sky but I like some details uh, to combine them we'll go create another um, mask over and fill up this with the uh, black so it's become invisible and using brush white color with a very soft 10 percent we'll reduce the brush we can actually start painting in those area where we want it so for example i can slightly paint right here i like with this plants a little bit come up more so i'm going to paint a little bit in these areas i don't want to touch the sky on this case I want sky leave it as was before because I like it but I just want to add a little bit more right in this area right here okay so let's add a little bit on the water as well before and after you can see just a little bit reduce again still be haze but add a little bit lighting and this way it create more kind of painting effect to me looking um, we can reduce, uh, we can touch more stuff, but I want to leave it this is. And we'll go create new layer by taking all of them and combine them to one. So it's merge all layers and create brand new. And this is, will be our oil painting. In a Photoshop, it's very easy to do this by going in a filter. We'll go to stylize and we'll click on oil painting. Notice right here on a close up how it's work on the plants it's making it maybe making a little bit too much so this way we can actually manipulate to reduce a little bit of this let's take scale down on this okay we also can play with stylization so if we reduce all the way you can see we have it more plants so cleanness harness so we'll go a little bit right there and add stylization yeah, I think this is about right. Maybe you know, right around this area. Okay, and your stylization will depend 
based on what resolution of the image you have it so you may be going all the way kind of harder to this way and you can see right here we have it okay so let's bring just maybe right back okay we'll go click okay and again this is add all this painting effect i don't want again this painting everywhere for this again i'm going to create mask we'll go to inverse this mask and now using our paint a brush same like what we did before i want to paint this slightly in the areas right here where is the plants maybe a little bit more on the back a little bit right there we can always come closer and you can see what effect it's well applied as additional effect it will remove some grayness let's give it this interesting the painting cleanness effect okay right there okay we'll go in here and add a little bit more okay let's zoom out there you go and we can see before and after so it does remove some details but add this brush stroking it is if we're going after painting it's have this effect some sky right here i see have some little bit problems with the clouds and if this happens, you always can retouch you can add additional clouds with a brush if you need it so for example let's go create clouds in many cases when you do work with we have a beautiful and nice clouds but you always can um if you find couple problems you can always just open different type of cloud um, right here it's a fog example we'll do 100 percent and we can just go let me reduce this you know put it over let's make actually the same color as this cloud so right here you can see so i can go ahead and just add maybe around this cloud let's switch this to a slightly different one so we're gonna go smoother a little bit there again i'm not necessarily replacing i just want to fix some of those areas that maybe I don't like how they look so again often before you can see just touch up slightly okay so we create this one let's do now a little bit over um, texturing edit and add correction on the colors actually not so much correction as adjusting tones to your likeness the overlay put it all we can create a texture or we can actually see how it will happen so for example let's go right there we'll fill up this 50 percent gray okay we'll next go to filter and we'll go to um create stylization and we're going to create um effect okay let's go actually to filter gallery okay and we'll go to paper texture there you go we'll go to this texturing okay let's pop up just a little bit scale on this it's make like canvas kind of looking for us right there okay we'll go click ok and now we'll switch this style for example to soft light and you can see as a soft light applied it's add some of this texturing over our image we can switch this to the screen if you like it it will make more wash out kind of in some areas we can also go with the darker multiply and overlay which is increased a little bit on contrast area 
However, in this case, I think screen will work well. I don't want to apply all the way like this. For this one, same things. We'll create it overlay and we'll just uh, uh, inverse it. Let's, let's go take brush and we'll just start. Okay, now we add two. Let's go opacity. 22 switch to our soft round and what I'm doing I'm, I want to add this but I want to add a little bit on the corners a little bit more on a sky not so much on these areas but right there so we'll just add slightly this kind of overlay of the texture. Okay, the last things I want to add some color tone. And this is all personal preferences. I want to create this all the edged look. So it's like almost worn out kind of image. There you go. So you can see right here, we have it almost like it's all the edge painting. So then right here, we create our image inside the view. Again, you don't necessarily need to do all of this. All of these adjustments. You can just have a very beautiful picture straight out of the view where we created um, landscape with the pounds kind of water gra ground around and mountains and hills on the back with atmosphere or you always can go ahead and add something extra by touching up and adjustments thank you for watching this tutorial and please visit um, eon software or geek play for more